Wait. I'm not on a ZHP. That guy that gave us the water clips in here a lot. He brings, he keeps some right on his saddle 100% of the time. Shorts. Shorts on a Western, on an English saddle. Horse nerd. Horse nerd. I kept the bumpers out. Yeah. Fenders on a boat. I want you guys to know it's dusty here at the back of the trail. Cowboy Bob needs his kerchief. <laughs> so this is a place where you often see a lot of deer. Hopefully we'll see a couple today, but maybe during the hot part of the day they may be resting somewhere. If I were the hawk, where would I be? Yeah, he neck rain's fine. Tree. I don't see any blood, so quit whining. Yep. Where's Marcy? Coming away there. Coming along in her shorts. We're going to razz her about that all day. So I don't know how good this will come in, but Verona, I'll shoot a little picture of the bay there. The blimp hanger. Yeah. Well, so animals. Some animals obviously have uh, fed off of it. A little bit of a landscape around the pasture here. Nice rolling hills. Woman in shorts and is riding a horse. Well, he's used to running up these little hills. I mean, whenever we're, we're out here with him, it's always run up the hill. So the horses kind of get used to, you know, that's the that's the pattern out here. When I get to the bottom of that hill, I get ready and I run. Yep. One, last time, one time we rode and I wasn't paying attention. It's a nice view out there of the pasture we're riding in, huh? Yeah. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this camera, but. The bay. And there's a bridge out there called the Dunbarton. That, I don't know if you can see it, just behind that bush. Now we're just kind of getting behind it. And way to the south is San Jose. But I don't know if we'll see it in the smog that's out here. It's a little smoggy. Moffat Fields out over there with the blimp hanger. Descend into a valley by taking some paths that kind of decline along the side of this little, little rise here.
we made it down to the valley floor. Now we can kind of work our way back towards our way out of this pasture, down this little, little valley. Here we are, down on the trail. That'll lead us back to the gate. The horses don't care about the trees, but they don't realize <laughs> where the rider's head is, so you gotta be ready to duck. Whichever, you know, steer to where you wanna keep from getting your head whacked. Now they both, they all go back. If you can walk it on two feet, the horse can walk it on four. Turn us back to the gate where all the mares are feeding. Didn't see any deer today, darn it. Yeah, I guess we did technically. Deer bones count as deer, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> Emphasis on the W. So here we are above part of the ranch where the stalls for people who like to keep their horses in stall. over to the water tank, see if any of these guys are thirsty after this hot day ride. Yeah. So the story of Napoleon is one day I was carrying a bag of feed to my tack shed. And I didn't realize he was behind me. And it's a 50 pound bag, and I had it on my shoulder when I got to the tax shed, I dropped the bag, oh, right landed on. right on him. Luckily, I mean, the most of the weight hit the ground and just a little of it hit him. He came out attacking that bag. I mean, he was kicking, pecking, just screaming at it. Boy, he was so pissed. 